Last module is what should a patient know? So just a few quick points that I want all patients to know. Uh, it's very common that we call patients back for calcifications on a mammogram or recommend a biopsy. So what a patient should know is that calcifications appear as bright white dots on a mammogram. Patients very frequently are going to ask you what you mean when you say a calcification. Um, so what I like to tell them is that these are bright white dots that occur from a variety of processes in the breast, most of which are benign, but some may represent early cancer, particularly non-palpable breast cancers. So usually when we're only seeing calcifications without a mass, it's when we've caught a breast cancer very early. Again, I like to reassure my patients that the vast majority of calcifications in the breast are benign. However, some calcifications are indeterminate on mammogram and therefore we need more pictures and often biopsy. We use mammographic guidance to biopsy calcifications in the breast. And excuse me, that's an error in the slide. It should say a minority, not a majority. A minority of calcifications, we can use ultrasound guidance, uh, but the majority, and again, excuse me for the error in that slide, are done under mammographic guidance because they're so small that ultrasound does not have the ability to see them. And I'm gonna give another lecture later uh, where I'm going to show you some examples of calcifications we do see under ultrasound, but most of which we only see under uh, mammography. So we use mammographic guidance to biopsy calcifications in the breast. But I do like to remind patients, especially when I'm seeing a lower uh, probably PPV type of calcification, that most calcifications in the breast are benign, even if we've recommended biopsy. So with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention today, uh, and that completes our lecture. So thank you very much.